Hello everyone, welcome back to Kadev Tips. In today's video, I'll demonstrate how to load data from a database into a data grid view with pagination using C Sharp. Let me show you an example. I have loaded 10,000 records from the database into the data grid view. However, as you can see, it will only display 10 records per page. I have buttons here for previous, next, first and last to navigate through the pages. I will demonstrate how to create this step by step, so make sure to watch the entire video to avoid missing any details. But before we start, welcome to Kadev Tips, your ultimate destination for programming tutorials and all things code related. If you're passionate about learning to code or improving your programming skills, you're in the right place. But before we dive into today's programming tutorial, I'd like to invite you to become a part of our growing community. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of programming knowledge and stay updated with the latest tutorials we release. So, go ahead and subscribe now, and let's get coding. First, design your program to match the layout on my screen. Add data grid view, four buttons for page navigation, and labels to display the total row count and the current page number. Next, rename the following objects. For the total row count, name it LBL total rows. For the current page number, name it LBL current page. For the total page count, name it LBL total page. For the buttons, name the button for first as BTN first. For previous as BTN preb. For next as BTN next. And for last as BTN last. After designing your program, let's start coding. Double click on the form. First, let's add a using directive. Using system.data.sql client. This will allow our system to connect to SQL Server database. Next, at the top of your form, declare a variables. Next, at the bottom, let's add a new method called load data. Then, add the following code in the load data method to connect our program to our SQL Server database and load data into the data grid view. Make sure that your SQL connection string is correct. Double check your database server, database name, username, and password.
Now, let's call our created load data method in the form load event. Let's run the program now. Oops, we got an error. Let's check. Found it. I have a typo here in the connection string. The server name should be localhost because I'm using my local database. Let's run the program again. Oops, we still have an error. Let's check again. Found it. There's another typo in our SQL script. It should be count. Let's run the program again. It's working. I loaded 10,000 records from the database into the data grid view. However, as you can see, it only displays 20 records per page. You can change that if, for example, you want to display only 10 records per page. To do that, Go back to our code. At the top, change the default value of the page size variable to the number of records you want to display per page. For example, I will change it to 10. Let's run the program again. Yes, it works. Now we only load 10 records per page. Now, let's add code to our buttons so we can navigate to other pages. Let's start with the next button. Double click the next button and add the following codes. Let's run the program again. Let's try it. Click the next button. Yes, it is now moving to the next pages. Now let's add code to the previous button. Double click the previous button and add the following code. Let's run the program again. Click the next button. Then click previous. It's working. Now, for the last part, let's add code to the first and last buttons. Double click the first button and add the following code. Double click the last button and add the following code. Let's run the program again. Click the next button. Next again. 
Click Previous. Now click the last button. And then click the first button. And then we are done. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next video tutorial. Thank you for watching.